inspiring in every way that we can. Um, our assignment today, and I'm going to go really fast because uh, I asked um, Terry, you know, what do you want us to do here? Well, she wanted us in five minutes, <laughs> uh, which is terrible because I'm uh, not known for being a short speaker. But anyway, uh, in five minutes to say where we have, what we have to do and where we're going. Okay, fine. No problem. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, uh, I'll try to stay in that spirit, and I'm going to talk a little fast because I think there's so much to do, and even though uh, we're in the midst of a massive backlash, not only here in the United States, but worldwide, trying to put women back into a box, um, uh, but we're not only fighting back, I view it as the last gas of a patriarchy whose days are numbered. Yeah. attempt to take away reproductive rights in this country, but also worldwide to take away all humanity for women as the Taliban, and I will not forget what they're doing. They just blew up, if you haven't been watching that, in Pakistan, outside of Quetta, a medical bus, a women's medical school bus um, of medical uh, students, women students, and as they were uh, going to the hospital to work, they blew up the bus, then they went to the hospital's um, emergency room as the victims were being taken in and blew it up too. Oh, oh. The real courage, feminists are fighting and fighting and I want you to know in Afghanistan that movement for women's rights is well and strong and don't ever forget the women that are on the front lines fighting for the freedom of all of us. And there's much progress, many, many women's groups. So don't, don't think, don't believe the language that we're not going any place. Everywhere, the spirit of feminism is growing. And we just have to help nourish it in every way we can. Here in the United States, this is what I think we have to do. Uh, uh, Congress, uh, Democratic leader Pelosi, who I think will be the Speaker of the House yeah. again. Is introducing in late July, and we'll all be there. I know that Terry will be there, I'll be there. Uh, the women's economic agenda, because we are not going to just fight for reproductive rights, we're going to fight for closing the wage gap. Pay sick days, pay family medical leave, and child care for all. close the wage gap, we're going to raise the minimum wage yeah. and also raise the minimum wage for servers of our food that all the kids burn. Between now and October 1, all of us have got to fight for the implementation of the Affordable Care Act yeah. from October 1. October 1 to March 31st, we must register 7 million people into Affordable Care. And let's not forget, it means no discrimination against women. It is a Title IX for women. And we are going to make sure that we as validators tell people what it means and why they need to register for insurance care and to expand Medicaid. Feminist majority in each woman's group has a role to play to make sure that all get insurance coverage and that you know maternity care and uh, birth control without co-pays, deductibles, cancer screenings, that people know their rights. Go on to the site, uh, be spokespeople, because the Republicans think we're not going to get our act together and they're going to still destroy what has been a dream that healthcare is a human, a basic human right. Yes. Now, as we do all this, we need you in Virginia and New Jersey. And if you're not there, please take some time to go. We have to defeat Cuccinelli and this awful right-wing Republican ticket in, in, in Virginia 
that wants to take away all reproductive rights from women. We can beat them, uh, and we have endorsed, and now has, the majority has, every women's group, uh, Terry McAuliffe, and a team of people who understand that we're living in the 21st century. Yeah. We can't give up on Barbara Buono in New Jersey. Yes. We've got to elect her. And we have to reframe all the debates. Can't let the Republicans control the debates and talk about deficits. We're living in the richest economy in the world, and we've got to talk about revenues. And we've got to make sure that we don't forget the poor, that we don't let them privatize public education. And in all of this, we've got to raise the banner for the Equal Rights Amendment and seat us so high that no politician dare take a stand without talking about equality for women and making it real again. We have much to do. We have much to do. We can't be tired, and I think we can't be discouraged. We must know, and I want you all to say it, we are the majority. We are the majority. We together will not be defeated. We together will not be defeated. And this time when we go forth for equality, we go as one united.